everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, um, a little bit more of a sit down and talk with me type video. We are going to be unboxing a box of tack and I know it looks small but there is a lot in there and I'm also going to be giving you some updates on my channel and what's been going on. So first off, I have a lot of editing to catch up on. I've been doing a lot of filming but not had a lot of time to edit and you will see that over vacation I did get some of my editing done. So you should have seen a couple of videos that came out a um, couple weeks in a row. I believe I've been posting those on Mondays at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'm hoping that I will be able to be more consistent with my videos. However, editing does take a long time and I have a very busy schedule, not just with the horses, but with other things in my life that I am doing. So I am sorry for the long gap between some of the long format videos. However, I do try to stay up to date on shorts and because I have so many videos to edit, that means that you guys will be getting to see a lot of content in the upcoming future. So I'm hoping to get those out. I have a lot of videos with my new horse, Joker, which you may have seen in his previous videos. If you haven't, be sure to go check those out. And so I have now had him for quite a while and I have a lot of content to catch up on on his training progress. But the good thing about me looking back on these as I'm editing is that I can really have a clear view of how what I did back then affected his outcome and I can get you guys up to date with what's going on now. Okay, so enough about the updates. Now we're going to open this box with some tech in it. So my friend was doing a shed clean out and she decided to get rid of a lot of tech and some of the pieces were just really pretty and I thought might work well. However, I only have seen like one picture of each of these pieces so I'm not exactly sure about what's in this box but I do know what I think it's going to be and I hope that it will work for my horse and I. Um, she said that some of these, she just brought them out of the shed and so they haven't been cleaned up or anything but I'm excited to see some big pieces and she was selling them for a very reasonable price so I just had to get some more, not that I needed some more tack. Let's go ahead and open this up. I have a very weird knife, I understand, but it's the only thing I could find. Didn't want to use scissors. I would think this sharp knife would open this all. know in the comments if you guys would tell me whether you like the voiceover style videos where I do a voiceover on my things or if you like more of the vlog ones where I film and talk to you about what's going on as I'm actually there or if you like it when I just film video and then go back later and do the voiceover just let me know in the comments say voiceover if you like the voiceovers or no voiceover if you don't like that okay oh my goodness I don't know how she fit this all in this tiny box because I feel like I ordered a lot of work. Okay, I see it it's all in there. Okay, so first piece was this. And as I said, everything is still like dirty. I gotta clean all this up and stuff. This is kind of cute. I'm, I wasn't exactly sure what this was, to be honest. I'm think she said it is a um, side pull. So I'm going to have to see how that works. But what I was really interested in was to have one of these nose bands because um, one of my horses uses a hackmore and I am always looking for something to be gentle on him and really nice. And this looked like it would be really gentle. So I do need to figure out how one of those works. Um, tell me if you guys have a horse that works in a hackmore or a side pull or something like this. So, but I did think it was so cute. It was teal and I thought, hey, that might work for him. Okay, next piece is the wither strap to another piece. Let me see if I can take it off. I love the jacket. So this is a wither strap piece that goes 
with this gorgeous breast color. When I saw this, I was just like, I need that. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I really like it. I only saw like one picture of each of these things. It has um, some nice tooling on it and lots of gems. Of course, everything needs clean and a big silver plate in the middle. Let me show you guys a little more close up details. It's really pretty. I really like it. I hope it fits. I think it should fit Chief quite well. And Joker. All right. Um, let's pull this other one. Oops. I didn't buy that. Okay. Okay. I guess I got a freebie. Um, went along with it because um, I do not buy this. Okay. That is the, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. That is the surprising thing about ordering cat from people. Sometimes you don't get what you expect. Because I ordered two halters and I got a bridle. So, okay. Um, I will have to contact her on that. Anyways, this is a biathane. This looks like a one ear, but I'm not for sure. Nope. It's, it's a regular brown brand. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. I might, I probably won't pay shipping to come back. Oops. But I will be asking for my halter. Okay, and this is the piece that I'm most excited for. This is the piece that I was like, okay, I'm going to buy something because. Okay, it's a little fringed up from being in the. Fringed up. I say the funniest thing on my videos. Crinkled up. It's hard to talk to a camera, guys. It was a little bit crinkled up because of being in this box, so it's kind of been smooshed. But isn't this beautiful? Look at the buckles on this. I am obsessed. Once I get this cleaned up, it is going to be so cute. So it has the cutest tooling on it. And I was like, Joker has to have that. That is so pretty. And um, it was really inexpensive, so I was super happy with it. Okay, let's see. I think I see a brand. I have no idea what that says. Um, <laughs> it is a one ear head saw. I have no one ear head saws and I feel like I need one. And I absolutely love the pink buckles. That's what sold me on it. And the tooling is also really, really pretty. And once I get this cleaned up, it is going to be adorable. I'm sorry you guys about the halter thing. That is just the reality. I was actually really surprised when it wasn't down in there because it was a like pink and black halter and it matched, like it looked kind of like this. So I thought that this, that they were together underneath there, but no, I got a bonus bridle though. So I don't know about that. So I will be contacting her on that. Um, anyways, that is what I got. A nice one ear head still. I'm going to have to clean it up and this beautiful brass collar and the wither strap that goes with it. And a um, surprise bridle. So, let me know if you guys want to see a second video to this one where I clean up the tack. I love making tack cleaning videos. They are so much fun. And I think it's really satisfying to watch people clean tack and just have a nice, relaxing tack cleaning video. And if you guys want to see pictures, I can maybe post some pictures on my community tab. Um where I try these on the horses. So we'll see. Um, just drop it in the comments below if you want to see that. And don't forget to give this video a like if you liked doing these unboxing type things. If you don't like it, don't worry. I'll be back soon with my normal vlog videos. But I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!